I'm Megan Paisecki. I'm 17 years old and I go to school at Wilson Hall. I've always had headaches. We just thought they were regular from stress. When I turned about 16, 17, they just progressively got worse. They would last for days on end and I would have to have the lights off and I couldn't hear and couldn't see very well. So basically I just have to lay in my bed and no amount of Excedrin could help. And so we immediately went to my pediatrician and she thought that it was tension migraines from stress, which is very common in teenagers. And then this past September, I was sitting in my statistics class and I had to run out because I felt sick and then I actually collapsed and had to be transported by ambulance to the children's hospital. When I got here, they performed a lumbar puncture and they found that my spinal fluid pressure in my brain was actually 69, which is well above average of about 10 to 15. And I was quickly diagnosed with a brain condition called intracranial hypertension, which about one in 150,000 people in America have. And I actually have a rarer form because it's due to an anatomical anomaly or a misforming of my veins in my brain. That actually led to my vision kind of leaving me, which is the eyesight problems I was having. I had stage five papilledema due to the intracranial hypertension. And that's like the swelling of the optic nerve and it caused nerve damage. So I have peripheral vision loss in both eyes. Quickly, neurosurgery was brought into the picture and Dr. Scarley, who's the head of the pediatric team, along with Dr. Mangabut, decided that Megan would benefit from stenting in her venous arteries, which were blocked. This was a novel surgery. It's not happening in many places yet around the country because it's relatively new. We were just so fortunate to have Dr. Mangabut here because he had performed them. Dr. Scarley was my main neurosurgeon because he's a pediatric. He kind of dictated what went on and Dr. Mangabot performed it because he specializes in vascular stenting, but Dr. Scarley definitely helped in getting the right diagnosis right away. Endovascular neurosurgery is not something that you want to hear that your child's going to have to go through, especially all of a sudden. It's like, what? How did this happen? But he handled it, the whole staff, the whole team handled it impeccably. It was just wonderful. No complications, no problems and it worked. It was just a miracle. It was a success and so far I haven't had a major headache since. I honestly couldn't imagine a better place to stay. The techs and the nurses were always attentive. I don't think I ever had a bad nurse or a mean nurse. They always came in with a smile on their face, especially one of my favorite techs, Connie. She was always there to tell me funny stories or to just sit there and have company when I was by myself. Even though that wasn't her job, she stepped in and the child life specialists were always there for me as well. I remember Lydia, who's the director of it, she sat through one of my spinal taps when she didn't have to and held my hand the entire time. The whole experience from beginning to end and continuing with our follow-up appointments truly was phenomenal. I come from a medical background with doctors in my family, so I know what to expect and it went beyond my expectations, it, it truly did. While I was in the children's hospital, there's a different feel than other hospitals I've been in. You feel more protected and secure. The nurses are really trained to deal with children and they're patient and kind even when you're not being so patient and kind and they know how to handle situations that maybe you've never even been in before and it just makes you feel like you can do this.